Hello, dear students. I am Dr. Mahesh Naikas. In this class, we are going to discuss the poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. This poem is written by the poet Langston Hughes. The <coughs> Excuse me. The Negro Speaks of Rivers. Langston Hughes. This is Langston Hughes lifetime, 1902 to 1967. These are the two uh, different images or pictures or photographs of the poet Langston Hughes. Dear students, in the last poem, Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening, written by Robert Frost, we knew about the poet that means about his popular works and his area of interest. We also discussed the theme of duty and commitment in life based on the poem. The objectives of this class are, we have five objectives here. The first one is to make the students to know about the poet Langston Hughes. The second one is to make you know about racism and oppression. Okay, racism, Janangiya Tiyanthirti, okay, Janangiya Tiyanthirti, Jananga the Mele, Torista Kantavandu, Taratamya, oppression, Dabbali Ke Anarthadali. To make you understand the theme of African culture and history, okay, African and culture and history, okay, this theme is also there in the poem. The fourth one is you comprehend the poem after recitation. That means after reading uh, the poem by the teacher, you will comprehend some of the important ideas of the poem. And the last one is to analyze or interpret the poem. That means to make you analyze or interpret the poem. <coughs> Excuse me, dear students. Let us have a look at some of the details about the poet. Langston Hughes is a well-known Afro-American poet, not only a poet, a novelist, a playwright, and a columnist. He was born in Joplin, Mississippi, America. His parents got separated after his birth, so the poet, as a child, had to be brought up by his maternal grandmother. African-American experience, the subject of his writing, okay, the subject of his writing is African-American experience. And the America the lady, Africa genera, at a cup over near Anvoy de la, Anvoye, even a Baravani girl, at a critical in our head chagi can't have it. His popular works are the Weary Blues, published in 1926, Fine Clothes to the Jew, published in 1927, The Ways of White Folks, published in 1934. Let us uh, know some introductory uh, details about the poem, The Negro Speaks of Rivers. It was written in 1920. This poem traces black history from the beginning of human civilization to the present. And then, ye kavitiyali, ye padyadali, kappu varniyara, atho kappu janara, itihasa, yallinda, manava nagarikate shuru adha glindaru saha, itti shinu varigu saha, nahu kaantave. In the face of centuries of slavery and oppression in America, the speaker asserts the perseverance of black cultural roots. In this poem, okay, in this poem, we see the speaker's assertion in his emphasis uh, on the perseverance of black cultural roots uh, or black culture, okay, uh, amidst uh, the slavery and oppression in America. In America, the Lee or in the Balike Madhuru Saha, after Gulama Giriel, the Nadaskundu Saha, Tama in roots of the character of Bear Guru. The poem argues that people of African descent have not simply been present for all of human history. 
they have been a guiding force shaping civilization that means besides their presence uh, since a long back these african people they have contributed a lot in shaping human civilization manava nagarikate roopagollodralli ee african janru tamma kodugeyanna baalavagi kottidare annadu ee poem na moolaka namige poet helta idare analysis or explanation of the poem before going to the analysis of the poem dear students let me read the poem for you just listen to the poem okay ee poem na hage kelisukolli kelisukon nantra nimage eshtu artha agutte annadanna ನೀವು ಸ್ವಲ್ಪ ಯೋಚನೆ ಮಾಡಿ ಓಕೆ ದ ನೀಗ್ರೋ ಸ್ಪೀಕ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಬೈ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ಸ್ಟನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ನೋನ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಏನ್ಶಿಯಂಟ್ ಆಸ್ ದ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ಅಂಡ್ ವರ್ಲ್ಡ್ ದನ್ ದ ಫ್ಲೋ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಇನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ವೈನ್ಸ್ ಮೈ ಸೋಲ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಗ್ರೋ ಡೀಪ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಬೇತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯುಫ್ರಿಟೀಸ್ ವೆನ್ ಡಾನ್ಸ್ ವರ್ ಯಂಗ್ I built my hut near the Congo and it lulled me to sleep. I looked up on the Nile and raised the pyramids above it. I heard the singing of the Mississippi when Abba Lincoln went down to New Orleans. And I have seen its muddy bosom turn all golden in the sunset. I have known rivers, ancient dusky rivers. My soul has grown deep like the rivers. this is the poem for you dear students now let us look at the analysis lines 1 to 4 here the speaker of the poem acts as a representative figure of his race the negroes okay of course uh, uh, using the term negro in nowadays is uh, restricted or okay it is completely banned but uh, from the point of view of the poem we are using this word okay dear students here the poet acts or represents his community illi poet than one individual age maatadta illa thanna community oba pratinidhi age maatadta idare okay so right the poet or the speaker has been familiar with a lot of rivers i have known rivers he says okay he is familiar with lot of rivers then what is special in knowing rivers do you think uh, like this my dear students nanage baalashtu nadigala bage gottu anta helta idare poet ali so nadigala bage bage gottidre yen vishesha ide adralli anta nimage anisbodu okay so he, he he is not saying he knows about seas or oceans samudragala bage sagara bage nanage gottu anta helta illa but he is telling that yeah he has known many rivers he is familiar with many rivers why rivers my dear students if you uh, remember uh, the pages of your history lessons okay where you have read about the human civilization most of the civilizations uh, uh, have raised or originated from the rivers that means on the banks of the rivers manavana nagarikatena paathavana naavu nenap maadikondre itihasadalli odiddu ಬಹಳಷ್ಟು ನಾಗರಿಕತೆಗಳು ನದಿಯ ದಂಡೆಯಲ್ಲಿ ನದಿಯ ದಡದ ಮೇಲೆ ಉಗಮವಾಗಿರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥದ್ದನ್ನ ನಾವು ನೋಡ್ತೇವೆ ವಿದ್ಯಾರ್ಥಿಗಳು ಅದಕ್ಕೋಸ್ಕರ ನಾವು ಸಿಂಧು ಬಯಲಿನ ನಾಗರಿಕತೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಿ ಸಿಂಧು ಅಂದ್ರೆ ನದಿಯ ಹೆಸರು ಇಂಡಸ್ ವ್ಯಾಲಿ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳ್ತೀವಲ್ಲ ಇಂಡಸ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಿವರ್ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ವೈ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಸಿಂಪಲ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ಆರ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆಫ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ fine he has been familiar with rivers that are as old as the planet itself okay so the rivers are as old as the planet itself okay from the birth of this planet the rivers are there andre ee bhoomi ee graha en hutkolti prapancha hutkoltala aginindalu saha nadigalu bhoomiya mele idave so aginindalu saha okay helta idare nanage nadigalu gottu anta does it mean he lived then also hagadri poet langston hughes adu sa va badkidra jeevantavagidra alli vasavagidra no no not like that my dear students so here he means his people i have told you in the beginning itself he acts here as a representative of his community 
ಹಾಗೆ ತನ್ನ ಒಬ್ಬ ಪ್ರತಿನಿಧಿಯಾಗಿ ಮಾತಾಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ನಾನು ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿದ್ರೆ ನಾನು ಮಾತ್ರ ಅಲ್ಲ ತನ್ನ ಜನರು ಯಾವಾಗಿದ್ರು ಈ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಮೇಲೆ ನದಿಯ ಉಗಮವಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಈ ಭೂಮಿಯ ಉಗಮವಾಯ್ತಲ್ಲ ಆದ್ರಿಂದಲೂ ಸಹ ಇದ್ರು ಹಾಗಾಗಿ ನನಗೆ ನದಿಗಳ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಗೊತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾನೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಓಕೆ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸಮ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಆರ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವೆನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಹಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿಯರ್ ವಿತ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿಚ್ ಆರ್ ಓಲ್ಡರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಬ್ಲಡ್ ಪಂಪಿಂಗ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಪೀಪಲ್ಸ್ ವೆನ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ blood pumping through people's veins that means uh, uh, the existence of human being presence of human beings on this earth andre manushana ondu iruvike ee bhoomi mele shuru aitala manushana jeevana ee bhoomi mele shuru aitala adakkintalu hindinindalu saha namige nadigalu gottu anta heltane that means a prior to uh, human uh, uh, maybe let me say a birth of course it is not possible because he is also a human being but that means here he tells that he tells that uh, since long back uh, he has known rivers that means his people have known rivers okay since long back that is his intention his soul has become very deep just like the rivers he knows of course my dear students okay rivers are deep uh, okay at some places it is less deep in some other places it is very deep kelavu kade go nadi solpa aala idre innu kelavu kade hechu aala irutte okay but anyhow here his soul has become very deep he says that his soul has become very deep just like the rivers he knows andre tanige gottirttakanta nadigalu eshtu aala idavo ashte aala avana manasu athwa aatma ashte aala da varigu hogide annu arthadalli that means here uh okay knowing deep means having complete full knowledge or experience okay and deep agi andre one subject bage na thumba deep agi tilkondidivi athwa yaro obru aa subject bage thumba deep agi tilkondidara andre adrin bartakanta ella vicharagalannu tilkondidara anta artha so hagagi illi his soul has become very deep nanna manasu aatma thumba aalavagi hogide andre avanu nadigala bage ellavana tilkondidane so avanu means not only he but his people his people know very well about the rivers which are symbols of human civilizations that means he is saying here or he intends to say that uh, his people know the birth of civilization or his people know every civilization across the world prapanchadalli irthanta ella nagarikatiru sa nagarikatigala bage sa ತನ್ನ ಜನರಿಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತು ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನ ಈಸ್ ಟೆಲ್ಲಿ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಫೈವ್ ಟು ಟೆನ್ ರೈಟ್ ಸೊ ಹಿಯರ್ ಇನ್ ದೀಸ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಲೈನ್ಸ್ ಹಿ ಗಿವ್ಸ್ ನೇಮ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಫೋರ್ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಫೋರ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಪಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಥೌಸಂಡ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ಸ್ ಅವೇ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಈಚ್ ಅದರ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಈ ಆರು ಸಾಲುಗಳಲ್ಲಿ ನಾಲ್ಕು ನದಿಗಳ ಹೆಸರುಗಳನ್ನ ಇಲ್ಲಿ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ತೆಗೆದುಕೊಳ್ತಾರೆ ಅವರು ಅವು ಒಂದ ಒಂದರಿಂದ ಮತ್ತೊಂದು ಸುಮಾರು ಸಾವಿರಾರು ಕಿಲೋಮೀಟರ್ ಗಳ ಅಂತರ ಇರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನದಿಗಳು ಬೇರೆ ಬೇರೆ ಖಂಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ನದಿಗಳು ಓಕೆ ರಿವರ್ಸ್ ವಿಚ್ ಎಕ್ಸಿಸ್ಟ್ ಇನ್ ಡಿಫರೆಂಟ್ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೈನ್ ಹಿ ವೆಂಟ್ ಸ್ವಿಮ್ಮಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯುಫ್ರೆಟಿಸ್ ರಿವರ್ ವೆನ್ ಹ್ಯೂಮನ್ ಸಿವಿಲೈಸೇಷನ್ ವಾಸ್ ಸ್ಟಿಲ್ ಯಂಗ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಈವನ್ ಸನ್ ರೈಸಸ್ ವರ್ ನೀವ್ ಯು ಕಟ್ ದಿಸ್ he bathed in the euphrates euphrates he says okay the line in the poem reads i bathed in the euphrates when the dawn was young andre he he swam he swam in the river euphrates he took bath in the river euphrates that means he was there on the banks of the euphrates okay when human civilization was still young when human civilization was budding in the ಇನ್ನು ಮೊಗ್ಗ ಆಗಿತ್ತು ಅಥವಾ ಆಗ ತಾನೇ ಉಗಮ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಮನ ಮಾನವನ ಒಂದು ನಾಗರಿಕತೆ ಆಗ ಆದ್ರೆ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಆ ಕಾಲದಲ್ಲೇ ನಾನ್ ನಾನು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ನನ್ನ ಜನರು ನನ್ನ ಜನರು ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ದ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಓಕೆ ವಿ ಟುಕ್ ಬಾತ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಯುಫ್ರೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಯುಫ್ರೆಟರ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎ ರಿವರ್ ಇನ್ ಏಷ್ಯನ್ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ಖಂಡದಲ್ಲಿ ಬರ್ತಕ್ಕಂಥ ಒಂದು ನದಿ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ದಟ್ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಹಿಸ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ವರ್ ದೇರ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಕಾಂಟಿನೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಏಷ್ಯಾ ರೈಟ್ ಸಿನ್ಸ್ ದ ಅರ್ಲಿ Uh, time of uh, uh, human civilization 
he built his home near the Congo. Yes, another river, another river in Africa, another Matondu river, Africa the river, Takanta Matondu river. So here the river in Asia, here the river in Africa. So he built his home near the Congo river and its murmuring waters helped him fall asleep. Okay, I built a hut uh, near the Congo and which lulled me to sleep and the poem ali. That means uh, his home was there. Congo. That means his people were there on the banks of this river or near the river. He means his people. Nanna jana. Nanna community jana. Ali idru. Nanna rest na jana. Ali idru. Nanna jana angada jana north of the river. And it's murmuring water. The music of the Congo river. Okay. Uh, water. And Nadia on the color of the sun, Shabda itala, okay, it lulled me to sleep at the Jogul heart on the Nige. It was a lullaby. The sound of the Congo River was just like lullaby, which helped me to sleep. And Nadia near in a Nada on a Kirkondu, Nan Malaginde. Euphrates Nadia Nan Snana Martai day. Look at this, okay. So he was there everywhere on North of the he saw the Nile and helped build the pyramids on the and its shore. Nile, Egypt. Look at this from Africa to Egypt now. Okay. Yes, he was there on the banks of the Nile. He saw the Nile. Nile Nadi Bagura Gotani. Okay. And not only that, he helped build the pyramids on its shore. Ah, Nadia Dandan Mele Bartakanta pyramids. Okay. Katodalusa Nano Patravana Vaisi Dene, Nano and Kelsona Madi Dene after the Nord for the That means, I means here his people were there on the banks of the river Nile and they helped to build the pyramids on its okay, banks are sure. Because uh, this, my dear students, that means we were also there and we have been there and everywhere uh, in every corner of the world and North the and he heard the Mississippi, another river, okay, in America. Look at this, Asia, Euphrates, Congo, Africa, Nile, Egypt, Mississippi, America, the United States. He heard the Mississippi River sound as if it were singing. Look at this, the, the sound of the river Mississippi was just like a song to him, to his people, his ancestors, to the people of his race, his community. Tana, Janangar Kesamana Pata Janagarige, Mississippi Nadia on the sound with Trash of the Etana, Adu Hardin Rupa the Likers Taito, the Nakirs for the especially Yavaga, when Abraham Lincoln traveled on it to New Orleans. When Abraham Lincoln, as a boy, as a boy, traveled to New Orleans, New Orleans. Okay, New Orleans is a place in America. New Orleans uh, is uh, uh, famous or uh, it is noted for uh, slavery and the gulama giriya vandu uh, uh, you know paddhati to adakke hesarvasi in new orleans that means it is said that abraham lincoln when he went there he saw the sufferings uh, and uh, uh, trauma and tribulations of the uh, black people as being sold as slaves and they were all in the slave market it at the new orleans only a slave market the black people and prani galata prani galata ha was to let her marata marta is in the other not sorry abraham lincoln maybe because of that reason later when he became president okay he tried uh, hard and of course became successful in uh, eradicating or uh, eliminating this uh, cruel system a slavery system. Okay, a Gulamagiri and a Hoglad Sisa, a Brahmin Kanadu, now it has the Livote. Right. And he has seen the surface of that muddy river, okay, muddy river, Mississippi River. It's a quite muddy, sort of a case in the Ilta Cantana Diadu, a surface, okay, the Marina Baga, Marina Baga, surface, okay, the bosom, unthreatened bosom, okay, uh, just like a chest of human being, like a person's chest, reflect the sunset turning gold so the river okay so muddy river it reflected the sunset uh, with the golden color and the surya na kirana gulu a nadi mele biddaga adu bangara da riti alli pratipalana aakta ittu a nadi a nadiya haadannu athwa nadiya shabda namage haadina tarha ittu adannu saha nanu nodidini allu saha nanu idde anodana he is telling okay dear students right Lines 11 to 13. He has been familiar, of course, the lines are repeated here. He
he has been familiar with a lot of rivers very old dark rivers very old dark rivers okay old dark rivers we yeah, also dark again a symbol of old uh, ancient okay so the rivers which are ancient he knows them very well he's familiar with that his soul has become very deep just like the rivers he knows okay his soul has become very deep very experience i mean experienced soul okay uh, because of the different experiences or sufferings uh, uh, his people uh, and he had to go through in america in the america the cup of warning and general you know jeevan on a nurse the law i want to uh our head in the jeevan on a cast of the jeevan on a our the tarot on the jeevan on a is yellow in the rosa okay uh mama manasu gati agi day and north of the league he tells right dear students uh, we can conclude the poem uh like this uh, this poem encompasses both triumphs and horrors okay in this poem we see both triumphs and horrors uh, are related to this black uh, people or negroes yes what are the triumphs like the construction of the egyptian pyramids the construction of egyptian pyramids uh, uh, is an example for their triumphs okay avara ondu jayake athwa success ge adu ondu udharane okay kappu janara ondu success ge and horrors okay avara ondu avara jeevanadalli bartakanta bhikarate ge ondu udharane like american slavery american slavery uh, it is a okay a black uh, chapter in their lives whereas egyptian pyramids okay uh, just like some shining chapters uh, or chapters with some promise okay what the promise and kortakanta chapters egyptian pyramids are american slavery karala adhyaya anta now karibodu this poem argues that the black soul has incorporated all of this historical experience the black soul black so that is black people uh, has incorporated they have included and ellavu sa sereskonbittidare ee black soul anadu yenana all historical experience aitihasika anubhavana and the process has become deep yes they have incorporated and in that process uh, those experiences have become deep anubhavalu thumba aalavagi valavaku gattiyagi beer bittidave annodu this poem suggests that black cultural identity is continuous yes black cultural identity is continuous just like the a uh, continuous flow of rivers rivers are known for continuous flow nadi gulana namu barodu adu flow aagta irutte ondu kade inda mattondu kade yavudu ondu kade nillodilla hagene hagene black cultural history and kappu varira sanskritika itihasa athwa identity gurutisuvike idella adu sa continuous agirutte adu elladru ondu kade nillodilla there is no stop for a black cultural identity the identity of these people is continuous it implies that black people have made vital that is significant yet often neglected contribution to human civilizations yes they have made according to the poet and the poem they have made lot of considerable vital contribution to human civilization but uh, most of them are neglected adralli baala balashtu kodugalanna kottidare ee ondu manavana nagarikatheya ondu abhiruddhi goskara adre balashtu kodugalu neglect maadalpattive adanna ಜನರು ನೆನಪು ಮಾಡ್ಕೊಳ್ತಾ ಇಲ್ಲ ಅನ್ನೋದನ್ನು ಸಹ ಈ ಪೋಯಟ್ನ ಮೂಲಕ ಕವಿಯಲ್ಲಿ ನಮಗೆ ಹೇಳ್ತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಆರ್ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಪ್ಲನೇಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಪೋಯಮ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ನೌ ಲೆಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎ ಲುಕ್ ಅಟ್ ದ ಲರ್ನಿಂಗ್ ಔಟ್ಕಮ್ಸ್ ಡಿಯರ್ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ದ ಕಂಪ್ಲೀಷನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಕ್ಲಾಸ್ ಓಕೆ ನೌ ಯು ನೋ ದ ಪೋಯಟ್ ಈಗ ನಿಮಗೆ ಪೋಯಟ್ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ನೋ ಅಬೌಟ್ ರೇಸಿಸಮ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಓಕೆ ರೇಸಿಸಮ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಆಫ್ ದ ಆಪ್ರೇಷನ್ ಅಂದ್ರೆ ಏನು ಅನ್ನೋ ಒಂದು ಗೊತ್ತಾಗಿದೆ ಎಸ್ಪೆಷಲಿ Uh, regarding the black people in america and of course theme of african culture and history okay you also know about this uh, to some extent and you are also able to comprehend the important aspects of the poem after recitation after recitation of the poem you comprehended uh, some of the important concepts okay like the name of the rivers uh, etc and now you are able to analyze or interpret the poem on your own okay find the students uh, let us have a look at uh, question number 1 this uh, okay we have five multiple choice questions the first question is here for you pick out the work not written by langston hughes option a mountain interval the weary blues 
fine flocks to the jew the waist of the waist of white fox so one is not written by langston hughes three are by him which is that one one then we have to find out yes you are right here is the answer a mountain interval okay uh, this uh, is written by robert frost question number 2 Langston Hughes is a well-known dash poet. Well-known dash poet. Let us see what are the options: British, American, Afro-American, African. Yes. Don't get confused. Think. Keep the answer with you, and check this. Okay. C. Yes, Afro-American poet. Good. Question number three. Choose the line that is not in the Negro speaks of rivers. Yes, one line is not from the poem. You, you have to choose that line. Of human blood in human veins. The only other sound stream down to New Orleans. I built my hut near the Congo. Yes, which line is not in the poem? Yes, dear students, you are right. Question number, I mean, the line B. The only other sound is free. Yes, this is not in this poem. Uh, this is in the poem, Stopping by the Woods on a Snowy Evening. Question number four. Which of the following rivers is not mentioned in this poem? Yes, not mentioned in this poem. The Mississippi, the Congo, the Nile, the Olga. Yes, which one is not mentioned in this poem? Yes, very easy. You are right. The Olga is not mentioned here. Yeah, a river in Russia. Question number five, name the great personality referred in this poem. Yes, John F. Kennedy, Abraham Lincoln, Nelson Mandela, Martin Luther King. Yeah, referred in this poem, okay. In this poem, uh, a reference is made to one of these great uh, personalities. Yes, you are right, that is Abraham Lincoln, okay, when he went to New Orleans. Right, dear students? Uh, this uh, book, Literary Perception, Board of Studies, Dhanagiri University, Dhanagiri is taken for uh, uh, preparing this class and these two images, uh, I mean, uh, web links also used for images and other information used in this video. Dear students, it is time to thank you, okay, and have a nice time, okay, and now let me uh, end the class. Let us meet in the next class with some other uh, poem or prose. Okay. Until then, don't stop learning. Right? Let me finish this class. What happened? Some error. What is this? Yes. So, Stop and